All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so um, yeah, I somehow turned on the the dim light feature for like nighttime or something on my computer. Um, I did like uh, so I have to apologize for like the visuals here right now, right? Um, I was hitting like Control Alt Delete to bring up uh, the um, uh, task manager screen, and um, I hit something else instead. And uh, it was like Control Alt, and it was in the dark, so my finger slipped on something, and it pulled up like the 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 lightsaber, the nighttime lightsaber screen, so everything's all dull and ugh. Um, but I don't know how to turn it back because uh, my damn computer is all in Chinese every time I try to figure things out. And the wife is currently on a business trip in America, so she won't be back for like three weeks, unfortunately. So, but it's all right because when she's usually gone, you know, I tend to stay up all night, so whatever saves my eyes. But the graphics are going to be kind of crap until then. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I was watching a video of people all running away for their for their lives in uh, Zul Frack in hardcore. And then they uh, because uh, one guy had all the aggro on him, everybody else was able to run <clears throat> a completely different direction and um, save his life, right? Or th they could hearth out because uh, the one guy had all the aggro. And it dawned on me that you could use Bubble, Bubble's very odd mechanics, um, to save an entire party in um, Hardcore Dungeons and Classic WoW, even though you can't Bubble Hearth. And uh, I'm going to describe the mechanics before I use them real fast here. <clears throat> Let's get some stuff going here. You'll probably be in Concentration Aura when you're doing this. Um, but, so the way Bubble mechanics work is it does not reset your aggro to zero, it resets your aggro to one. So it'll literally set your aggro to 1. And if you uh, put even a single uh, additional... Let's say you have a 1,000 aggro on this mob here, right? If I bubble <clears throat> and then cancel bubble, I'll have only one point of aggro on the mob. But if I put one point of additional aggro on that mob, I'll go from having a uh, uh, one point of aggro on the mob to having a 1,001 points of aggro on the mob. The, the mob will spin around. So you have to do a single point of damage to them to get aggro back. Um, you will see this in raids, um, not raids, but in dungeons. It's uh, a trick you can use to avoid certain um, taunt mechanics or taunt reset mechanics. Uh, you just bubble or bop yourself um, temporarily. The mob spins around, attacks somebody else, uh, does their threat reduction mechanic, and then you cancel the bubble and attack the mob, and you get all the threat back. Um, I don't think it works for Bop. Uh, Bop is a special boy. The mobs just stop attacking you, and then when Bop wears off, they go back to attacking you, so it doesn't uh, set your aggro to, to 1. I do not know how this stuff works with Invisibility Potion. I would have to test it. So, for example, um, I know that if it was Paladin and Paladin, and um, you got in trouble in a dungeon, uh, the two Paladins could lead the pack of, of death uh, one direction. Everybody else could run some other direction. And uh, they would start hearthing, and then both paladins could bubble, and all the, the all the mobs would start running after the the. Um, you would bubble, wait a ha wait a hot second, and then cancel. And then uh, because you only have one aggro on the mobs, the mobs would go chase after uh, the other guy. Um, let me just uh, showcase it real fast here because I've been talking a million years. So we're gonna run up to send your mob here, and we are going to get basically an ocean of aggro on him. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a skeleton pet summon, and we're going to have the skeleton pet act as basically our plus one. Now keep in mind I have Righteous Fury up, so the amount of aggro I'm doing to the mob right now is basically over 9,000. There is basically an ocean of aggro being put on this mob right now. Okay, are we clear about that? Alright, so I'm going to summon the pet, and you can notice that the mob keeps attacking me. If I bubble, it'll attack the pet. If I cancel the bubble... He'll continue to attack the pet. But if I do so much as put a single point of aggro on him, and, like, so if I do, like, a rank one constant, he'll just spin around instant, instantly. Like, a single point of aggro, and that's how that works. Okay? Are we clear about that? Cool. I want to kill him quick, so we'll do the double. Um, <clears throat> so it dawned on me that uh, what you can do is like I said, you can run off into Narnia with all the mobs. Everybody else can run away someplace else. You'll bubble, cancel bubble, and start hearthing. And all the mobs will go running after everybody else um, because uh, you only have one point of aggro on the mobs until you do something to cause an additional point of aggro. Um, if you were with a priest, I don't know if you can 
uh, bop the priest, bubble yourself. Um, you'll lose aggro on all the mobs, so they'll start running away after everybody else. Um, it's possible that the priest might be able to invisibility potion and escape with his life, but I do know for a fact that if you have two paladins in your party, and since you're probably likely, if you're watching this video, playing a paladin, uh, you only need plus one paladin, um, there is no way on God's green earth that two paladins in a dungeon cannot perform this trick. Uh, one guy, uh, you just end up healing yourselves and dragging the pack of mobs off into Nernia, uh, bubbling and um, um, resetting the aggro so they'll all go after everybody else. Everybody else should be hearthing, and then you just start hearthing immediately, and voila, an entire... You're using bubble, despite the fact that you cannot bubble hearth in hardcore to escape, um, to cause everybody to escape a dungeon, right? You're saving everybody in the dungeon using, quote-unquote, bubble hearth, um, but you're not. So anyways, I'm going to keep this video short, and uh, day assault, boys. But yeah, I got to test invisibility potion, like how do those mechanics work? And uh, I'm pretty sure Bop doesn't have the same mechanics as uh, Bubble does. Anyways, um, day is full, boys.